Hey y'all, back to another video, R. Marie Dozier. And today I want to talk about always taking time out for yourself. No matter if it's like a couple minutes a day, a lot of people may be, you know, young parents or, you know, in school or working a job or what have you. You always want to make sure you take time out for yourself. Even if it's like 10 minutes a day, you're just meditating, just breathing, you're just like listening to your thoughts. You could just wake up a couple minutes a day. Or before you go into work, you know, just sit in your car and just, just you know, close your eyes. Maybe just think about your intention for the day and just a little time for yourself. Because, you know, a lot of people are always on the go. You know, a lot of people call themselves human beings, but they're not ever being. They're always human doing. You know, you always want to be doing something. You always are staying busy. You always, you know, doing, you know, people feel crazy, you know, when they're at home all the time. Especially during like the the whole pandemic and everything, people felt very very caged in and going outside their mind because they're not used to just being still. But there's a lot of things you learn in stillness. That's where all the answers come from. You know, I think that's why they say prayer is when you ask for something, but when you are still is when you get the answer. When you're listening, when you're able to be still and know that I am God. And that's you know. That's a, that's a fact. You got to really be still and be able to listen. Because if you just always talking, you can't listen. You can't do two things at the same time. That's why you got two ears, one mouth. All right. Make sure you listen today. Make sure you're always, always taking time out for yourself. All right. Take care now. You but no sound. Feeling caged up and locked down. You can't get off this roller coaster. Now it's going up, up, then crashing down. You want to organize your way out.